So first is the four, four types of crowd. I'm sure there's a lot of confusion or between crowdfunding, crowd lending, what it is, what do we do? So, uh, and you have crowdfunding, there is crowd lending, there is peer to peer and so on. So I understand that you can be lost with all these different types of models. So through the, the table you are seeing, we are to, I will try to give you some, some guidance around the, uh, the different model. So let's start with crowdfunding. The crowdfunding is actually the, the umbrella term for, for an alternative form of, uh, of, of financing where you have uh, where, an, uh, where an organization, it can be a business or an individual get financed by a group, a crowd of other uh, individuals. So you have four main models of, uh, of crowdfunding uh, platforms. You have the donation, donation base, where in this case, the donors donate the money to the person who requests the financing because they want to support a goal or, or and generally it's environmental or social. Uh, you have two crowdfunding uh, donation base who operate in Mauritius. Uh, the historical player is Small Step Matters. Maybe you, you heard of them. Uh, and then, since a couple of months, you have uh, crowdfund.mu. Then, uh, internationally, you have uh, Indiegogo, for instance, which is a donation-based. Then you have the reward model. What is the reward model? In the reward model, the backers give the money in exchange of a, re of a reward. Uh, it's often small amounts which are which, which are given, uh, and the and, and the gifts they receive, the reward. It can be the, uh, the first edition of a product, uh, a token. So there are different models, and, and and internationally, the platform which is known best for this model is Kickstarter, where you can finance startup projects, uh, uh, for instance, and get the first prototype. Then you have a third model, which is uh, equity-based crowdfunding. In this model, the, the investors can invest in a company, which is often a startup, for which they receive a share of a company and, and, and first become partial owners through, through the platform. And finally, you have uh, the fourth model, which is loan-based crowdfunding platform or crowd lending. So in this, in this model, the, the, the lenders provide a loan to an individual or to an SME who has launched a campaign. And then over time, the borrowed money is repaid, repaid together with the interest. So this is what we call uh, crowd lending. And under crowd lending, you have, again, two main pillars that I will describe later. You have consumer lending and business lending. We at Funkis, we do uh, business lending. We are a crowd lending platform for, uh, for SMEs. It's, it's, it's also important here to, to distinguish uh, between, not to distinguish, but to the difference between peer-to-peer -peer lending, uh, loan-based crowdfunding, crowd lending. It's, it's, it's exactly, the, it's different termino terminology depending on which jurisdiction you are, you are operating, but it's the same reality at the end of the day where you have a group of individual or institutional investors that will provide a loan in secured or unsecured to a, to, a, to, a, to a borrower who is either an individual or a business. But it's exactly different terminology, but for the same uh, uh, reality, the same uh, business model. And it's really based, depending on the jurisdiction, 
they can refer to this reality by naming it loan-based crowdfunding, marketplace lending, collaborative financing, crowd lending, but it's the same thing. So in Mauritius, you will talk, we are, we are known to the Funkis as a crowd lending platform. Uh, we operate under a regulatory sandbox license, which has been delivered uh, by the National Sandbox uh, Committee. But when we will shift under the, the FSC, the license is called a peer-to-peer, -peer uh, uh, it's a peer-to-peer -peer license, but it's the same business model. There's no change in our business model. Uh, 